How's it going everyone? It's Sean Goodison Productions here and welcome back to a brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to show users how they can switch their video recording folder to a drive which is a little bit more spacious and will give you a lot more freedom to record. So first things first, I went to my folder which is my D drive, went down to and made a new folder which is NVIDIA Shadow Play as NVIDIA has its own folder as it's on its own. So I went to make a NVIDIA Shadow Play folder and then after that, I went to GeForce Experience, clicked on the share icon, went to the cog, and then went to recordings, and then the pathfinder, which is right here. And I would click on this little up arrow, which would allow me to navigate, of which drives I can put my videos in. So for instance, this is my C drive, which is what my Windows is on, my D drive, which is my spare drive for all things of sorts, and my two external flash drives. So I'm gonna double click on this, and I'm going to browse until I find NVIDIA Shadow Play. So here's NVIDIA Shadow Play, double click on that, and hit done. Same thing for temporary files, same, uh, same measures. I'm going to click back, hit done, and I'm going to do a quick sample recording. Alright, so that's all, that's all done and saved. Let's go back to the folder. And here it's got a name which I recorded off of, which is my desktop. So I'm going to go ahead and click it, and we're going to view it. All right, so pretty easy peasy, no big deal. So that's how you do that. And to record games without being exclusive full screen, go ahead and click on the Share Greatest Gaming Moments icon again. Go to your cog icon and scroll down to where you see privacy control. This here will eliminate the ability for you to actually record borderless window and not have to do exclusive full screen. So turn on desktop to capture instant replay, record, broadcast, and screenshot. Hit yes. And then once you're done, hit back. And before you know it, you'll actually have this little icon in the top right corner when you're ready to hit play. Just make sure your key bindings are what they need to be and not mixed with another recording program like with Bandicam. So that's pretty much all there is to it. And once you're done, um, there's also an instant replay button which Windows 10's game DVR now features which is a flashback which Nvidia Shadow Play has now and if you click on instant replay you can then customize of course you gotta stop recording so turn off customize and here you'll be able to adjust the replay length so mine I put at 10 minutes and I'll tell you the exact maximum storage or how much it'll take up customize your quality what resolution you wish to have it in, and what frame rate, as well as the bit rate. So once that's done, I'm going to go ahead back, turn on, uh, turn it back on, and my key bindings are as assigned, and I made it my F8 button, because to record it's uh, F10, to take a screenshot it's F11. So then once you're done, go ahead and click out, and I'm going to go ahead and hit my F8 button. Alright, so I saved about 4 seconds worth of it. Now I'm going to go back to my Shadow Play folder and it's my desktop. And here's another one of Instant Replay. So, that's all there is to it. Hope you guys enjoyed and learned something useful. And I hope you guys have fun. Until next time, you guys have yourselves a nice day. Peace out.